Hello, my name is Ken Slazik with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's Education Department. And today I'd like to talk about Chesapeake Bay blue crabs, Kelenectus sapidus. What are some things we know about blue crabs? Blue crabs are arthropods, which just means jointed foot. Other arthropods include shrimp, scorpions, arachnids, and insects, including centipedes, butterflies, and even houseflies. Blue crabs are crustaceans, a group which includes other crabs, shrimp, crayfish, and lobster. Crabs have an exoskeleton, which means it has to molt or shed their hard shell to grow. They are soft crabs for a period of time until their shell hardens up again. Blue crabs have 10 appendages, which makes them a decopod. The appendages have specific jobs. The claws in the front are for food gathering and defense. Then there are six walking legs, three on each side, and crabs have little hairs on their legs they use to taste food items. Then there are the paddle-like appendages in the back called the swimmerettes. Crabs are detritivores, which means they eat decomposed organic material, but really they are opportunists and will exploit any easy food item, including other crabs. You can tell the gender of a crab by looking underneath the carapace at the apron. The male or jimmy crab has an apron that is long and skinny like the Washington Monument. An immature female or sally crab has a triangle-shaped apron, and a mature female or sook has a blue dome-shaped apron. Females that are showing eggs are called sponge crabs. Another way to tell a gender of a blue crab is to look at their claws. Females have bright orange claws and males have dark blue ones. The number one habitat for blue crabs are the underwater grasses in the Chesapeake Bay. This is where the crabs go to find food, to hide from predators, and shed their shell safely. Crabs molt their shell many times, up to 20 times during their life, and the whole process could take up to 12 hours from beginning to end. For the viewers at home, we have shortened this miracle of nature with the magic of animation. Once her shell has completely hardened, she can defend herself from predators and then move on to a new location to a much needed meal. This female is about to become mature. She requires a mate. Females only mate once in their entire life, during their last or terminal molt. To get the male's attention, she will emit a pheromone into the water, which will tell the male that she is ready to mate, and that she is not a threat to him. The male is allowed to settle down on top of her and cradle her in his legs. He will protect her from predators and other potential mates. When crabs do this, they are referred to as a doubler. They'll then retreat to the privacy and safety of the grass beds. The female will shed her shell. The crabs will mate while the female is a soft crab. The male will insert two sperm packets inside of her shell. The male will continue to protect the female after mating and will depart only after her shell is hard again. Once the male's obligation is fulfilled, the two crabs part ways. The female will stay in the grass beds a bit longer and fertilize a set of eggs with one of the sperm packets. She will then set off on a long journey to the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. As she travels, a sponge of eggs will start to develop under her apron. Her journey could be over a hundred miles and take up to 14 days. Her eggs will continue to develop over this time and become darker and darker. She will pass over grass beds and oyster reefs, eventually reaching the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. When she reaches her journey's end, she will wipe the eggs from her shell and release millions of individuals into the ocean where they will hatch and start their life as plankton. 
A crab's first life stage is as a zoea, barely a millimeter across, vulnerable in the platonic jungle. Only about one out of every million crabs will make it to an adult to reproduce and make more crabs.